Hello everyone, my name is Bhavik Pujara and I'm a verified educator at an academy. I teach quantitative aptitude for CAT. So I scored a 98.3 in my CAT 2015 exam and I'm a current student at MDI Gurgaon 2018 batch. Now this particular video is based on a simple interest in compound interest, a few basic uh, basics and a few introduction and a few basic examples of this concept. It's a very important chapter in CAT and if you have any suggestions just let me know and keep sharing and keep learning. Happy learning and I hope you enjoy this lesson. Thank you so much. So let's start with the basics, with the definition of interest. So what is interest? So I would say interest takes care of the time value of money. So for example, if you lend someone 100 rupees today and you say, okay, return it to me like two years from now, you're not going to ask that person for 100 rupees back. You're going to say, all right, I lent you 100 rupees. You have to return to me 100 plus some interest because I lent you money and my money has grown over time. My money should have grown over time. Say. Uh, as compared to inflation or as compared to the particular interest rate that a particular bond of money is going to give you back. So I say 100 rupees is not something I'm going to get back from you. It has to be 100 plus some interest. So that takes you of the time value of money. The 100 rupees today is not equal to 100 rupees tomorrow or 100 rupees uh, a year later or two years later. So I would say interest simply uh, put is uh, the time value of money takes you of the time value of money. Now there are two types of interest uh, charged. First is simple interest, second is compound interest. You take a loan from a bank uh, or you borrow money from any any third party. There are two types of interest that they, they can charge you. One is simple, the so other one is compound interest. Now the key difference is in the way the interest is calculated and the final amount is calculated. Let's see what, what I mean when I say that. So when we say simple interest, interest is calculated only on the principal amount. So uh, for example, I say, all right, you take 100 rupees from me and return it to me five years later, and I'm gonna charge you 10% every year. And that 10% is uh, gonna be on the principal, principal amount, that is the amount that I have lent you, which is 100 rupees. So a year later, my money would have grown to 110 rupees. My, uh, two years later, my money would have grown to uh, 120 rupees and three years later 130 rupees and so on and eventually at the end of five years I'm going to ask you back for 150 rupees. So this is what the simple interest is that is interest is calculated only on the principal amount that is the amount that is borrowed. However, there is another uh, type of interest which is uh, quite interesting. It's called compound interest that is it is calculated on the principal plus the interest accumulated over time. So when I say all right, you can take money from me, you can take 100 rupees from me at the rate of 10% which is has to be compounded annually. So a year from now, uh, my money would have grown to 110 rupees. Uh, two years from now, money, my money would have grown to 10% of 110 and not 100 anymore. So 110 plus 10% 10 of 110, which is uh, 110. So it's 110 plus uh, 11, which is 121 rupees. So uh, this is what compound interest is and then in the end of third year it would be 121 plus 10% 10 of 121 which is 133.1 and so on. So the interest is compounded annually, right? So that is what the compound interest means here. Then uh, there are a few terminologies. Uh, first one is sum borrowed which is also called the principal amount. The principal sum which is borrowed, the time period for which the money is lent, for which the money is borrowed uh, by the borrower or is lent by the lender. Then amount to be paid back, for example, if I lent you 100 rupees for a year at 10% and then you owe me 110 rupees a year later. So 110 is the amount that you owe me, which is principal plus the interest paid and interest could be either symbol interest or compound interest, whatever the condition of the contract or the transaction is. The rate of interest charged is R%, percent. for example, in this case it's 10%. Then a few formulae. Uh, simple interest is calculated as principal into time period into rate of interest upon 100. This is the simple interest and amount is principal plus simple interest. So again 100 rupees borrowed at 10% for one year. So simple interest would be 100 into 1 into 10 which will give me what 10 rupees. So simple interest would be 10 rupees after a year and amount would be 100 plus 10 which is 110 rupees. Likewise, a compound interest formula is given as A equals to P into 1 plus R upon 100 or raised to power T, where the rate of interest is compounded annually. This R is compounded annually. And this is straight away to find out the amount that is owed or the amount uh, that has to be paid back. And if you have to calculate the interest 
uh, which has been charged, the compound interest that has been charged, it is equal to A minus B. So amount is always equal to principal plus interest and interest uh, that makes interest equal to, uh, equals to amount minus principal. But if, uh, I mean, there are a few cases in which rate of interest is not compounded annually as given in the question, it is compounded semi-annually or quarterly. For example, I can say you can take 100 rupees from me and I'm going to charge you 5% uh, interest compounded semi-annually or 10% interest compounded semi-annually. So that means that I'm not charging you 10% for a year, I'm charging you 10% semi-annually. So in that case, you're going to... Uh, 10% compounded semi-annually, so that means you're going to divide that rate of interest by 2 and you're going to uh, multiply the time period uh, by 2 because the year becomes 2 times semi-annual, right, 2 times uh, half years, right, so you're going to multiply T which is in years with 2 and you're going to get the uh, power which is 2T and the rate of interest which is compounded semi-annually is has to be halved, so A equals to P uh, 1 plus r by 2 upon 100 raised to all raised to power 2t. So we'll discuss this uh, once we start uh, solving the questions in the next video. Also, a uh, case would appear when they would say already right, the rate of interest is compounded quarterly. It's not annually, it's not semi-annually, it's compounded quarterly. So you have to pay back uh, as per the interest rate which is charged every quarter. In that case, now a uh, year has four quarters. So in that case, you'll have to divide the rate of interest by four and the time period will be multiplied by because one year would become four quarters uh, as would be the power and rate of interest for example 10 uh, per uh, annum would be now 10 by 4 2.5 uh, percent quarterly so you have to take care of this uh, terminology of this nomenclature when it appears in the question now the next concept is depreciation of uh, assets or depreciation of article uh, for example uh, you buy a machinery today for your for your production facility so what is going to happen to the price of that machinery five years from now? The value doesn't remain the same, right? It keeps on decreasing. A year later, if you buy the machinery for, say, 100,000 rupees today, the value of that machinery, if you want to resell it tomorrow or a year later, would be less than 100,000 rupees. And two years later would be lesser than, uh, much lesser than what it would be a year from now. So, and so on. So uh, this is called depreciating of uh, an asset, depreciating of an article that is a price uh, the value of an asset keeps on decreasing a year, uh, year on year. So the formula for that would be uh, the amount um, A1, which is the final value of the asset, is equal to the current value, 1 minus R upon 100 is to power T. And uh, it almost remains the same as the formula for compound interest. Uh, instead of plus, uh, we have a negative here because the value is decreasing over time and not increasing over time. So if you lend money to someone, the you are expecting more money than what it is today than what you have lent and if you have a machine that you have bought then you are expecting the value to decrease over time so this is the main difference that is why we have a subtraction assigned here so where a1 is the value of asset of uh, after years after t years and a not is the present value of the asset as of today so this is about the uh, introduction and the basics of interest simple interest and compound interest and depreciation of articles and assets and the next video we're going to discuss some few basic questions i hope you like this video and please uh, share your comments and suggestions on the comment section in the comment section if you have any and i'll be happy to respond to it thank you so much guys for watching this video again